There is a new company in town that is looking to raise the city's fun factor to new heights. A zip line that would slide thrill seekers from the West End Overlook to the North Shore. Megan Schiller joins us live from the proposed launch site. Well, Susan, you definitely can't be afraid of heights and you cannot be afraid of flying through the air because this company says it's going to give Pittsburghers and tourists an experience and a view like something they've never seen before. The sunset's always really nice. Thousands of tourists and native Pittsburghers flock to the West End Overlook for one reason. Because you can see everything. You can you see all the bridges, the river. It's just really awesome. For every couple of weeks, I like to up here with my friends. And soon, people might catch that view along with some major air. My passion is uh, to build this. Jeremy Goldman owns the Pittsburgh Zipline Company. He wants to set up shop on this undeveloped North Shore land and shuttle people on buses up to the West End Overlook. Why do you think this could be the next big thing for Pittsburgh? Well, first of all, we all bleed black and gold, right? And to be the only city in the world to have a zip line through the city center would be amazing. This will also be the second largest zip line over water in the world. Four riders at a time would slide from the top of this proposed tower across the river and land on the roof of a building. Hopefully one part of this development, the proposed Esplanade. It's something that Goldman hopes gets people excited. I mean, it'd be terrifying, but... I'd like to do it. I think I'd try it. <laughs> the best view ever when you were terrified. Oh, absolutely. No doubt. Pittsburgh's the best city. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> he said that the next big thing that the company has to handle is they need the permission from the railroad companies because you would fly over top of two railroad tracks owned by two separate companies. He hopes to get that permission from them and be good to go moving forward. He said the meeting with the community members tonight was just the first of many meetings to come. He said he wants to work with the people that live in the neighborhood. Reporting live at the West End Overlook, Megan Schiller, KDK News.